Earlier today, we saw history being made. 30 years after the launch of the Hubble telescope, its successor, $10 billion James Webb telescope took off from Earth. With that, beginning its mission to show the first stars to light up the universe. The James Webb telescope was launched from French Guiana. Before we talk about the telescope further, let us now look at the crucial takeoff moment. And we have engine start. And lift off. Decollage. The Ariana 5 rocket has released the James Webb Space Telescope after 27 minutes of flight, which will now take about a month to reach an outpost 1.5 million kilometers from planet Earth. The James Webb Telescope is also almost 100 times more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble, and is all set to explore the possibilities of life beyond Earth. Its missions include searching for the earliest galaxies or luminous objects formed after the Big Bang. It will also trace the revolutionary path of different galaxies after their birth to the present day. It includes observing the formation of stars and the planets around them. The telescope can look into the clouds of gas and dust where stars are being born. Until now, the dust caused obstruction in having a proper study. Also, uh, by looking in the infrared, it will be able to see molecules around uh, young stars that are still forming. So we'll know what building blocks important for life were incorporated into their early solar systems. We'll also be able to see atmospheres of planets around other stars. We'll observe hundreds of them and we'll be able to see carbon-based molecules that are important for life and also indicate chemistry and just uh, the overall compositions of these atmospheres that we do not know now. Unlike the Hubble, which orbits the Earth, the web will orbit the Sun. It will travel a million miles away from the Earth and will reach a point called L2, from where the telescope would then observe how infrared light is absorbed in planets. This would explain more about conditions of similar planets like Earth, which are ripe for life. It will study planets beyond our solar system as well as worlds closer to home, such as our planetary neighbor Mars and Saturn's moon Titan. It is going to do something like we've seen with Hubble, with the Hubble Deep Field, where we stared at a blank part of sky and saw just so many galaxies. And it was incredible to know that all those galaxies were hiding there in the early universe. And we just needed to look long enough to see them. What Webb is going to do, it's going to push beyond that. And it's going to be sensitive to galaxies that are more distant and younger that really formed closer to the start of the universe. So in that way, we're going to see towards the beginning of the universe, closer than ever before with Webb. For the first six months after the launch, the team at the Space Telescope Institute will monitor the observatory around the clock, making sure that it is perfectly calibrated. The most crucial moments will come at the beginning of the mission, which is termed as two weeks of terror. The telescope must be placed on a precise trajectory, while at the same time it has to unfurl its super-reflective golden mirrors roughly three times to that of the Hubble, and even a larger sunshade. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.